Ghost Mansion After entering a creepy forest to search out a haunted mansion deep within, YouTube team Ghost Theory finds it, but it may not be empty. Do you hear that? In an upstairs room, they hear something else. That complex or anything, it's just weird. I am on edge, but it's like it, just knock the stairs. Yeah. They head to the stairs to check it out. Hello? As they move downstairs, this happens. That was right behind me though. <laughs> it's just the wind. It's just the wind, but it was like, it was such a force right behind me, like a loud noise. They ask the spirits to react and they follow through. Can you make a sound? Can you throw something or show yourself if you're with us? Later, another clanking sound is heard. Some light taps follow. There's a little taps now. In another stairwell, Elliot hears something that Joe doesn't, but then they both hear it. I've just heard something like. Here it is again. I've just heard something like. I think this is enough evidence to confirm this mansion is haunted, but the spirits here seem too shy to reveal themselves. Number 6. The Odyssey Paranormal Society is a Minnesota-based group of ghost hunters who become close after a number of bizarre and scary shared experiences like this one in May of 2015. While conducting a paranormal investigation at a haunted house, a ghost hunter named Sean makes a request for any spirit to make their presence known. Wherever you can do, wherever you can manifest your energy with. Two orbs float overhead followed by a loud noise that makes Sean jump. The next month they get more paranormal evidence that the house is haunted, this time in the basement when a hideous ghost face appears on a night vision camera in the window at 2am. There's also some kind of light anomaly at the very beginning of this video that could be an apparition. Light shouldn't be reflecting off of anything in a dark basement so this is bizarre. And five years later, the Odyssey Paranormal Society continues to make ghost hunting videos that are beyond creepy. They are exploring the second floor of an abandoned home when they stop for a moment to try and communicate with the other side. Could you, you know, make a noise? But that was okay. It doesn't sound like an animal, and it doesn't sound like passing traffic. This is the voice of a ghostly woman screaming her answer to their question from far away. While entering a deep dark cave, these brave souls nearly left their skeletons behind. Good gravy, what is that? You can see the creature momentarily as they enter. But for some reason, this encounter doesn't send them running for the hills. And then, not long after, this happens. 
That hissing is somehow more terrifying than a deafening roar. And the figure's features are equally horrifying. The fact that they didn't leave on the first sighting of the creature makes me think this is fake. But as we only caught a glimpse on camera, maybe they just didn't see him in the darkness. If it is acted, then it's an incredible fake. Is this the work of the legendary magician Hashina? Published in September of 2021, this scary video is tantalizing. While I don't have the full context, the short clip shows some men sitting around a room. Some of the men are chanting. What are they trying to do? Exercise someone of a possession? I'm not sure. But as the group sits there, a creepy shadow figure emerges from behind a door's fogged glass window. It rises and there doesn't seem to be enough room behind the door for something to remain otherwise hidden. What's going on here? Is it some sort of ritual? Don't close your eyes, because when you wake up tonight, this thing will be waiting for you. This creepy farmhouse will have you swearing off abandoned buildings for life. Published by Da Dio's Urban Exploration in April of 2013, the uploader admits to being skeptical to the paranormal, but this incident made him consider opening up to the possibility. Da writes that the house sits about a half a kilometer from a road in Bob Cage, Ontario. The house is isolated with just a barn and an outcrop of other buildings. It appears from a distance to be tightly boarded up, but a back door was wide open. He writes, now it is very possible all the environmental conditions were perfect for this experience. However, wingman Jan happened to be with me on this explore and we are in agreement. There was something more to this. He says the video doesn't really do the reality justice. The sounds were much more magnified, which he describes as like freight trains. He writes, there was the sound of someone else walking. There was the sound of something heavy being dragged across the floor, and when exiting, it was like being followed out to the threshold of inside and out. Without further ado, let's take a look at the cryptic video. Even the approach to the house's exterior is a bit unnerving. The back door is under an overhanging, which our friends sneak beneath to catch a glimpse of a bunch of knickknacks and garbage littering the ground, including an old sewing machine. The back door is wide open, it's dark inside. They climb the steps to the kitchen area, also disheveled and covered with odds and ends. Once inside, they're stepping over the trash and other items on the floor while scanning the rooms with a flashlight. They enter the living room. Something on a door across the room flies up. It appears to be blown by a breeze. The door then opens and slams shut while our brave Da backs away. Instead of racing out of there, they get closer. The door keeps creaking open and slamming shut again. He finally enters the empty hallway. No one is there. He shines the flashlight upstairs, and just when you think he's going to explore that second level, he hurries the heck out of that house. Probably a smart idea. The house alone is unsettling. I can't imagine what being there in person must have felt like. Although Da knows some might call him a coward for being afraid, he insists that you had to be there to know what it truly felt like. On the contrary, most people believe in the comments of this video that Da was brave to stay in this obviously haunted house as long as he did. I'm one of them. Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? This video is a re-upload shared by YouTuber Randy Stover. I was unable to track down the original source. At first, the person looks as though they were perhaps jolted awake from a nightmare. Then this happens. Something apparently paranormal is lifting them by their feet from the bed. Is this just some crazy abnormal gravitational pull? Or has something demonic entered the scene? I think this is a true case of paranormal activity. Fishing line would tear painfully into the ankles, so I don't see any other explanation for this one. There's no trickery to this one. Nothing paranormal, but we guarantee it will make some of you very scared. 
posted to TikTok by Madison Bergia. The spider reunion on this ceiling is sure to send everyone out the door, leaving their shadow behind them. Madison captured this enormous mama spider and all her little spider babies just chilling outside, down right above her. Most commenters say they're moving to Mars, while LeRae Fanpage writes that his anxiety went through the roof watching this. We're with you, Larry. If you haven't panicked yet, now's the time. Just kidding. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling. Captured by a guest staying in the doll room, the footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. It just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement, though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, we'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look, and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, that was... The doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. Davo Velkrat explores an abandoned building on YouTube Live when his expression is interrupted by a distinctly human voice, or at least something doing their best impression of one. Eventually, Davo tracks the noise to a single room not far away. He waits for another minute, hesitant to go any further, and sees a face poke around the corner, but when he rushes in, the person is gone. A closer look at the room shows that there are no windows or doors that they could have escaped through from where they were positioned. There simply should be no way for them to disappear, and yet they are gone, leaving Davo Velkrat wondering what the heck is going on. Shadows can be tricky things. Sometimes they're natural. Other times they lean more towards the paranormal. This one seems to be the latter. Posted on Reddit by user Ukire, the Redditor writes that he still has goosebumps after receiving this clip. Some in the comments admitted to being upset with yet another orb post. But then, after watching it all the way through, their yearning for nightmare fuel was rewarded. Although it just looks like the still image of a cell. Wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it some more, and you just might be rewarded too. The Redditor wrote that his friend works the night shift here at this institution in a former police station. The room where this is filmed is not in current use, but in the past was a place where people checked out of custody. Some in the comments say the video looks legit. Others pointed out a creepy long face that makes a split second appearance. Most in the thread comes to a consensus that this happenstance is very creepy and goosebump inducing. Could it be a haunting or something worse? Whatever it might be, it's certainly mysterious. In church, according to YouTuber Alberto Del Arco, even God has abandoned this church. He and his crew visit there, and they find a mysterious document that he's trying to piece together. But as he does, someone is watching over him. Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. ¿Dónde arriba? Allá. En arriba, sí, en el segundo. ¿En el coro? Sí, sí, sí. Pareciera que hay alguien, güey. Creo que lo tengo aquí. ¿Hay alguien ahí? Hola. Does this figure not want them putting the pieces of the puzzle together, or was there even anyone there at all? Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. It does look like there's a momentary shadow up there, but I can't really tell if it's a figure or just a shift in the light. What do you see? Although I can't say I'm positive, I hope this pseudo figure is part of this mystery in the making. Number 6. A group of friends are roaming around an old English house that's rumored to be quite haunted. 
Unlike most of the other videos on this list, they are able to get upstairs and quickly start opening every door they can find. Then they come across one door in particular that they swear they've already opened before. Oi, what the f I swear that door's open. That door's actually a I studied this video for a while, and I can say that this door was definitely open before. When they open the door here at 11 minutes 27 seconds, you can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. You can briefly see the same circuit box here at 8 minutes 14 seconds. This means that the door was definitely open just 3 minutes earlier. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to run away. Maybe they were faking surprise. Or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. Who is standing at the end of the hallway? Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, this short clip captures a ghost girl on camera in a haunted home. As ghost hunters are searching around this room, the camera pans around. Look closely at the end of the hallway. A creepy figure can be seen standing there with long white hair and a darkened face. When the cameraman pans back a moment later, the figure is gone. Would you leave? The caption says, I'm already gone. Zero One Supernatural Studio takes a tour of this most haunted hospital in Asia. As this team explores the place, they are sensing energies at each turn. Did you see something in the darkness? In the next room again, they feel jumpy. I'm not sure if that was a ghost or just a trick of the light, but this next one is hard to deny. Watch the doorway as this man reaches the bottom of the stairs. It looks like a figure passes at the end of the hall. Next, a strange shadow falls over this creepy hallway. They continue the tour and it just gets spookier from there. 接下来这个故事呢，其实是一位住在当地的美国人所告知的。the pit looks like it drops all the way to the fiery depths below. They explore further and find this creepy underground bunker. What we didn't see or hear any blatant ghosts on this tour, there's no denying this place is beyond creepy. I know I wouldn't want to wander those halls. Skiers beware, sometimes the snowbank is deeper than it appears. Posted to Instagram by Chris J. Fish. This GoPro video shows viewers what it's like to avalanche yourself. The skier is seen traveling over a snowy hill between two trees followed by some rocky crags. After overtaking the rocks, he immediately drops feet down into the snow. He is seen frantically trying to dig himself out. After what seems like an eternity, he spots a glimmer of sky above, as someone on the surface is also digging frantically to pull him to safety. Chris says this is the first time he's been completely buried. He writes in the comments, I started to panic a bit as soon as I inhaled a whole bunch of snow. 
My entire throat and mouth were full and definitely had a bit in my lungs. He goes on to explain that his friend was staged nearby to rescue him if this happened, which anyone who's skiing across unknown territory should do. Did this scary event stop him from future skiing? Nope. He writes that as soon as his breathing returned, he was off again. Chris asked if we would include this PSA. He writes, The rule to dropping from big cliffs into bottomless powder. Have someone close by to dig you out if you get buried. I'm thinking I'll stick to the bunny hill. A YouTuber named Tret uploaded the scary moment in Russia that has people wondering what it could possibly be. He looks down a boarded up well in the middle of the forest and sees a scary face in the dark. This could be a weird creature sighting or a ghost sighting depending on how you look at it. To be more realistic though, I see the head of a turtle. The blue eyes are weird though, so maybe that's not it at all. Ned Doll. While in the witch's house, YouTuber Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal discovers a living rog Ned Doll. The doll instantly puts Dennis on edge. <laughs> He places a walkie-talkie in the room with the doll. And he listens back to a recording he made. Так, вытаскиваем микрофон. The doll is watching. While he's in the room with it, he hears something in the next room. But he finds nothing. Though it seems like this creepy doll is harmless, there is something about it that raises my hair on end. Dennis packs it up and returns it home, but he does not enjoy the doll's company. Given these events, though, I'd say that's understandable. Number 6. Catholics honor the departed on November 2nd with All Souls Day, praying for the souls of their departed family and friends, often with visits to the graveyard. But what happens when the soul hasn't crossed over? Published by own vlogs, these paranormal investigators visited a haunted graveyard in order to answer that question. As the crew wanders around the cemetery's open graves, they suddenly see this vague, pale figure in the distance. After glancing over several times at the figure, the men get too scared by its stillness and start running off. <laughs> Gathering some courage, they turn and look back. The figure is still there. They run off again and straight out of the cemetery. Was this a soul that hadn't yet crossed over, or just a graveyard statue? In any event, this is one scary video that went horribly wrong. Maybe to the ghosts were the scary ones. Published by Paranormal Boys in September of 2021, this unexpected poltergeist activity scared this crew to their wits end. The short clip shows everyone panicking as a foundry door opens of its own accord. They all scream as they watch the door stand ajar for a moment before slowly closing again. Uh -huh. 
Did this paranormal crew just scare the living daylights out of a ghost? As YouTuber Jojo Cannon writes, I bet that ghost was like WTF dudes. I couldn't agree more. How would you spend 30 minutes alone in an abandoned cartel hotel? This video posted by Southern Afterlife Paranormal TV in January of 2020 puts truth or dare to the test. When Josh and Todd take a half hour to themselves in the abandoned hotel at 3 a.m., the alone challenge saw the two partners split up in the highly graffitied abandoned hotel, terrifying themselves with unsettling noises and even more unsettling feelings. At 2 minutes 13 seconds, a viewer points out that it appears someone is standing in the doorway at the end of the hall when Josh flashes his light. At around 3 minutes 48 seconds, a scary sound is heard, almost like a cabinet being shut. I don't know what that was. At around 5 minutes 40 seconds, Josh finds an upside down cross that's wet. He believes from the cold and dampness of the hotel. At around 14 minutes, he believes he smells fresh paint. Maybe some invisible graffiti artist is there to touch up their artwork. Most in the comments agree this place has an awful and uber creepy atmosphere. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, live people could be lurking around any corner. Don't know if I'd want to run into either in this nightmare hotel. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.